In the beginning, there was darkness, and then... This was Nova. Yo, yo, yo. Check the flow. Are you ready for a Nova video? I don't care. Let's go. Anyway, Nova is a bad ass bitch. If anyone tells you otherwise then clearly they just suck as humans. You can farm Nova pretty easily from the boss fight on Europa. Since this fight is very easy and straightforward, I would highly recommend you do not pay over 300 platinum for her. Although she is worth every penny, once you have acquired her, say hello to map wide debuffs teleportation and generally just death and destruction of the highest order. Nova is easily one of the best must-have frames in the game with whom you will not be easy to kill and simultaneously lay waste to everything in your path. If you care to see her in action, I suggest you watch my solo mod survival video which I will link at the end of this one. For now, let's begin with her dumb passive. When Nova is put on her back, when Nova is put on her back. When Nova is put on her back. When Nova is put on her back. Are you retarded? When Nova is put on her back, she explodes and emits a shockwave that deals fuck all blast damage. And yes, I am aware of my wording there. Don't make this dirty. Anyway, this passive does nothing of any interest so no need to care about it. First ability. Ball Summoner. Nova makes a mockery out of physicists and spawns antimatter particles out of thin air. These particles will orbit your torso forever until a target comes within range. When that happens, the balls will begin one by one to attack enemies within range. This attack will stagger them and cause decent slash damage. However, that is not why you would want to use this ability. You see, for every ball you can conjure, your Nova gains damage reduction. More balls equals more tanky. More duration equals more balls. So with 200% duration you will max out the damage reduction with 18 balls which translate into 90% damage reduction. This is pretty damn good and will help your survivability quite a lot. Next up. Hiroshima all over again. That's messed up. Nova drops his R Bomba ball that will seek out whatever you are aiming at. Upon contact with a target or a surface, the ball will go supernova and explode dealing radiation damage to everything within its range. Furthermore, this thing will absorb incoming damage from friends and foes and multiply it by 8 before detonating. There is a maximum damage cap the ball of death can absorb however, it is visualized with a small proof effect and the ball changing its color. The ball also takes headshots into account so landing it right smack dab into someone's stupid face will yield a headshot multiplier. Pulling that off in the heat of battle is a different story. I mean, who in their right mind would try to snipe something with a nuclear bomb? Just cast the damn thing, shoot the ever-living fuck out of it until it changes color and then watch how you delete a group of enemies in the blink of an eye. Moving on. Gauze can suck my ass. Nova shows the world that she has clearly been watching way too much Star Trek and opens a wormhole that she and allies can travel through. <sighs> Cephalon, wait, wait. This, this, this isn't Warframe, fam. Wait, what? It's not? No, it clearly isn't, God! Could have fooled me. Anyway, Nova's wormhole allows you to place said hole anywhere you want to and it will create a linear path toward whatever you were aiming at. The distance traveled is instantaneous which means that technically Nova is actually the fastest frame ever. Each portal has up to 4 uses before it closes itself. 
allies and enemies can also use this portal, which means that in some cases, you can teleport enemies off the map. The next thing you must know about the portals, is that they also redirect bullets, which was added later in the game due to popular demand, but it would not be DE if they didn't somehow make it stupid. You see, one would think that you could place a portal to shoot around a corner as you feed it with bullets, and that would work with a common sense trajectory, but no, in Warframe, common sense is a farmable resource with a low drop chance, in reality. The trajectory of bullets is not at all altered, which means that instead of shooting like this, they actually shoot like this. So unless you are aiming at the ground with a nuke, this portal is useless for gunplay, but at least it is fantastic for yeeting away from a sticky situation or into a fight. Next up. Molecular Prime. Stop! Charles, why are you talking so slow? I'm not! I'm normal! Oh my god, if you're not going slow, that means we're going faster. Are we going fast? Can anyone tell if we're going fast? I don't think we're going fast at all in any way whatsoever. I feel like we're going slow in every way whatsoever. Captain, how do you feel? Great, excellent, amazing. I feel better than I've ever felt in a moment in my entire life. So we're all fine? Yep. 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 The one Warframe ability parents across the globe would love to use on their children. You're crazy, you're crazy. Nova takes a shot of Brooklyn 99 cold brew and emits an expanding energy dome that slows enemies upon contact with it. The speed reduction is capped at 75% reduction no matter how strong you modify. Furthermore, primed enemies take double damage from all sources. This ability is god tier as it can effectively cause map wide DZ mode for all squad mates. Slower enemies also means slower damage output which means less pressure for you and your squad. Molecular Prime also shares a sexy synergy with Nova's Nagasaki ability since the antimatter bomb will cause radiation procs, which make enemies attack each other, so if you prime them, they will take double damage. If you then also nuke them, they will either die immediately or be affected by radiation and thus attack each other. Radiation procs cause enemies to deal double damage to each other. So in other words, this makes for a nice cluster fuck. On a side note though, contrary to popular belief, Molecular Prime's range is not increased by ability range but rather ability duration. This is because the wave expands at a fixed distance per second. So more seconds means more distance, you're welcome. So then, here is my all-rounder tank build. Use this as a template for your own Nova and adjust your play style. Or do not. The idea behind this build is simple. Negative range so that my first ability balls don't leave me the way your father did. Remember, more balls means more tanking. Molecular Fisher because killing primed enemies will replenish my balls. A splash of power strength just to increase my slow effect. No, power strength is basically nothing for your nuke. And lastly, duration like a motherfucker cause I like to prime the entire map forever. When played correctly, Nova is easily one of the most devastating frames in the universe and deserves an aggressive player. She is easy to acquire and easy to learn. Versatile for any mission type as well. In my opinion, Nova should be in everyone's arsenal. But you do you. Now it is time to like and subscribe to this shitty channel, and fuck off.